By the time the movie ended I was definitely ready for bed, having been up since 7.30am. I gave Cheryl a hug and climbed the stairs to bed. I guess I wasn't surprised to find that mother had put something out for me to wear the following day, along with a note saying, you know the drill, chores first, then you can change. Love mother. X. Mother had put out the black skirt with pink spots and a pink strappy top, along with the pink low-heeled court shoes I'd worn last Sunday. Saturday morning I was up and dressed in my school uniform and doing my chores long before Mother and Cheryl got up. I was hanging my washing on the radiator when Cheryl entered the kitchen, stretching and yawning as she said, Morning Pete, you're up early. Quickly followed by, Jesus I'd forgotten how much I hated that dress. Yeah it's not what you'd call fashionable. I said as she flicked on the kettle. Aren't I the lucky one? Cheryl offered to make me a cup of tea but I declined, having plenty to do and wanting to get finished early. Later that morning, Cheryl and mother went into town, leaving me to my chores. I'd long finished when they returned mid-afternoon. I was making myself a snack, wearing my black spotty skirt, pink strappy top and pink court shoes when they returned, bags in hand. Hi Pete. Said Cheryl cheerfully. You look er. Uh, nice. She smirked. Oh. Er. Uh, thanks. I replied. Be a love and put the kettle on will you? Mother asked, kicking off her shoes and sitting at the table. Cheryl took some things up to the top room, my old bedroom. He does a good job doesn't he? She said on her return. The house is spotless. Yes he's quite good when he applies himself. Mother replied. I made a pot of tea and sat at the table with mother and Cheryl. I sat quietly whilst they chatted amongst themselves. I noticed Cheryl glancing at me every so often. All of a sudden she said, Pete. Yes. I replied. Cheryl glanced at mother before replying. Well, I was talking to mother earlier and she eventually agreed with me that you're having to wear my old school dress all week long was a little harsh. Considering you've behaved so well over the last few weeks. Mother added. My eyes lit up. Cheryl continued, so you'll be pleased to hear that you will no longer have to wear my old school dresses anymore. I grinned from ear to ear. Really? I said. Excellent. Don't get too excited Peter. Said mother, you're still a long way from getting all your own things back. My expression slipped back to neutral. Cheryl slid her chair back and went to the hallway, returning a moment later with a couple of carrier bags. What's that? I asked. It's your new school uniform. It's much more your age. She said, removing a short pleated school skirt from one of the carrier bags. There's a couple of nice blouses too. She smiled. Much nicer than that thing. She said, pointing to her old school dress on the radiator. I suppose. I mumbled. There's also a little tie to wear with it. We didn't bother with the blazer, but we got you plenty of tights which are also more grown up than knee socks. She added as she picked up another carrier bag. They're in here along with a few other bits too. She said, passing me the bag. I reluctantly took the carrier from her and placed it next to me on the table. Oh uh, thanks. I replied, suspecting other bits meant knickers and vests and things. Well aren't you going to have a look? Said mother insistently. I did as told and began removing the items from the carrier bag. New knickers. I said with a sarcastic tone, new vests, opaque tights and... I gulped as I noticed what else was in the carrier bag. I can't wear this. I insisted, removing a white bra, before glancing at mother and Cheryl for some support. Well, don't you think you look a bit flat? Said Cheryl, looking at my chest. Especially in that strappy top, you really need some. Uh. Shape. But I am flat. I insisted, raising my voice. I am a boy. Remember. Peter. Mother said sternly. 
Don't push your luck and do not raise your voice.